Brexit Britain has been hailed for securing two multi-million pound injections in 24 hours, which have been described as a vote of confidence in the post-Brexit economy. Multinational investment banking giant City launched a £100 million overhaul of its 42-floor Canary Wharf Tower, despite foreign banks having been expected to leave London as a result of Brexit. James Bardrick, head of UK at City, said the investment showed the bank's commitment to London for 25 years and beyond. And in a second win for Brexit Britain, luxury car maker Bentley unveiled a £2.5 billion investment in crew as part of a plan to build its first fully electric car. The injection will safeguard 4,000 jobs in the area. Business and Investment Minister Lord Grimstone said the cash injections will drive jobs and level up the whole of the UK. John Foster, Chief Campaign Director at the Confederation of British Industry, said they demonstrate that the UK remains one of the best places in the world to do business. The double win comes after the International Monetary Fund, IMF, predicted that Britain will grow faster than any other country in the G7 in 2022, with a GDP prediction of 5%. Economists at Goldman Sachs predict the UK will grow by 4.8% in 2022, while HSBC has put the figure at 4.7%. Predictions for other G7 countries meanwhile range from 2.2% for Japan to 4.3% for Italy. The bank has predicted the US to grow by 3.5%. Speaking about the latest investment victories, Lord Grimstone said, investment sits at the heart of our economic recovery. It drives jobs, innovation and helps to level up the whole of the UK. These significant latest investments share a clear vote of confidence in the UK economy further establishing the UK as a world leader in highly skilled industries including finance, science and green manufacturing. The renovation of the city tower will take place over three years, turning it into an environmentally sustainable office, using water collected from showers and sinks to flush toilets. The newly refurbished tower will also include parent rooms and health gardens. City did not confirm how much it would cost, but the Daily Mail estimated it to cost around £100 million. Since Brexit, the bank has added more than 1,000 jobs in London, where it currently has 9,000 staff. Mr Bardrock told the Daily Mail, We are absolutely sure that London, and the UK, will remain a key place to run global financial services businesses from. With the talent pool and with the legal system and the regulatory standard, we don't struggle to commit to London and the UK. Bentley's investment is part of its plan to secure a long-term sustainable future. The company hopes to have its first fully electric car roll of the production line within three years.
Within 80 years, it is hoped that every new car will be electric. The company is aiming to become carbon neutral by 2030. The car company's chief executive, Adrian Hallmark, said, Securing production of our first battery-powered electric vehicle is a milestone moment as we plan for a long-term sustainable future in crew. Mr. Foster said, This injection of fresh capital into the economy is exactly what's needed right now. Increasing business investment will help to supercharge our recovery. From new electric car factories to tech hubs, these investments show the UK remains one of the best places in the world to do business.